Okay, so in this one, we're going to start looking at some harder quadratics to factorize. So we are going to start off with 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. Okay, so the difference with this one now is we have a number here before the x squared. All right, so this means we're going to have to go through each of these four steps in order to factorize this quadratic. So, step one, multiply the first number by the last number. So, 2 times 2 is 4. So, now we want factors of 4 that will make our middle term. So, factors of 4 would be, of course, 2 times 2 or 4 times 1. The pair that's going to work here is, of course, 4 and 1. If I want to make a plus 5, don't forget to consider your signs here now in step 2, it would have to be a plus 4 and plus 1. Okay, so now step three, we need to rewrite the quadratic. So the quadratic we had, of course, was 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. But we're now going to rewrite this quadratic. And instead of 5x, we're going to rewrite it as plus 4x plus 1x plus 2. Okay, so 2x squared plus 4x plus 1x plus 2. So it's the very same as this, but we've just um, expanded out that middle term. So now, split and factorise, common to 2x squared and 4x is a 2x. Both 2, 2 can go into both 2 and 4, and of course there's an x in x squared and x. So pull it out. What would you have to multiply to 2x to get 2x squared back? You need to multiply by an x. And what would you have to multiply to 2x to get 4x? We need to multiply by a 2. Okay, and then looking at the second pair, between x and 2, the common factor, well, nothing is jumping out here. So the thing that you can always pull out common to both would be 1. And of course, we know the brackets should be the same. So x plus 2. Let's check that this works. 1 times x, we need a positive 1 here, of course. And 1 times 2 is 2. So yes, we are getting these terms back again. And that means then pulling together the 2x plus 1 and the repeated bracket is always the second bracket, 2x plus 1 in one bracket, x plus 2 is the other. This is the factorized version of 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. In other words, when you multiply out these double brackets, you will end up with 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. Okay, so we have 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 here now. Pause the video and work through your four steps and see how you get on with this. So first step, first number by last number, we're getting a positive 6. Factors of 6 now, in other words, what two numbers will multiply to make positive 6? But we need to add together to make the middle term minus 7. Okay, so 6, we could have 6 times 1. Uh, and 6 and 1 will work. In order, though, to make a minus 7, we would have to have a minus 6 and a minus 1 added together. So let's double check. Do these two numbers multiply to make a positive 6? Minus 6 by minus 1. A minus by a minus is a positive number. 6 times 1 is 6. So yes, they multiply to make a positive 6. And they will add together to make a minus 7. Minus 6 minus 1 is minus 7. So yes, we've got the correct factors here. Step three then, we're going to rewrite the quadratic. And of course, instead of that middle term minus 7x, we're going to expand it into minus 6x minus x plus 3. Minus x or minus 1x, it's the same thing. Okay, we're going to split and factorize now. So common to 2x squared minus 6x is 2x. What would we multiply to 2x to get 2x squared? We need to multiply by an x. And we need to multiply by a minus 3 in order to get a minus 6x here. Common to minus 1x and 3. Nothing really obvious, so we'll pull out a 1. We know these brackets should be the same, so let's put in the x minus 3 and consider what sign this should be. So 1 times x, of course I need to make a minus 1x, so let's fill this in as a minus. And minus 1 then, let's see if it works for the last term. Minus by minus is plus, and 1 times 3 is 3. So that works. So 2x minus 1 in one bracket, and x minus 3 in the other. Okay, so try this question. 
Again, working through your four steps, because we have a coefficient greater than one, we have a number here that's greater than one, so this is going to make it a more complicated quadratic. We can't step, skip steps, therefore we must work through every single one. Right, pause the video, see how you get on with this one. So step one, we have five times minus nine, first number by last number, and we're getting a minus 45. Now, we need factors of minus 45. In other words, two numbers that will multiply to make minus 45, but add together to make the middle term minus 12. Minus 12x is what we need to break apart. So, minus 45. Well, to get the number 45, we could multiply, obviously, 5 by 9 or two factors, um, but they won't work to make a, a 12 in any way by adding or subtracting. So, Think of other factors then of 45, and 3 goes into 45 15 times. So 3 times 15 gives you 45, but of course remember we need to make a minus 45. So let's consider what must the signs be in order for them to multiply to make a minus 45, but add together to make a minus 12. So if we were to add them together to make a minus 12, it would have to be a minus 15 and a plus 3. Okay, so plus 3 minus 15, adding them together would make a minus 12. And of course, multiplying those two numbers, the signs are different, that's what will give you the minus here, and 3 times 15 is 45. Okay, so we've hit on the factors and the signs that work. So now we're going to rewrite the quadratic, and of course, instead of that middle term minus 12x, we are going to rewrite it uh, with the plus 3 and the minus 15. Now, it doesn't matter which way round you put these, you will still end up with the same uh, terms in the brackets. I'm just, for ease of working this out, I'm going to put the minus 15 first and the plus 3x, of course, uh, second, okay? It will work, though, both ways. It, the order here doesn't matter, hence I'm going to make my life a little bit easier and put the 15 first. Right, so now we have 5x squared minus 15x, and what's common to both here is 5 x and of course we need to multiply by an x minus 3 and common to 3x and 9 is 3 and we'd need to multiply by an x minus 3 of course these should be the same so what sign needs to go there it is of course plus so now we have 5x plus 3 in one bracket and x minus 3 in the other 